Chapter 1. The haunting sands deep in the heart of the vast Sahara Desert, where the scorching sun beat down mercilessly upon the endless dunes. An eerie silence hung in the air. This desolate landscape seemed untouched by time, as if it held secrets that were meant to remain buried forever. Among the shifting sands, whispers of long-forgotten tales rippled like the wind, stories of souls trapped between the realms of the living and the dead. Dr. Amelia White, a brilliant archaeologist, found herself drawn to this ancient land. With her trusted team, she embarked on an expedition to unlock the mysteries hidden within the sands. As they made camp for the night, their excitement mingled with a sense of unease that seeped into their very bones. As darkness settled over the desert, the team gathered around a crackling fire. Dr. White, a stern but adventurous woman in her mid-thirties, scanned the faces of her crew. There was Mike, the rugged geologist with a twinkle in his eye, Maria, the tech-savvy inventor with a penchant for the supernatural, and Professor Mitchell, the seasoned historian with a wealth of knowledge etched upon his furrowed brow. Everyone, listen, Dr. White began, her voice echoing in the stillness. We've come here to unravel the secrets of this desolate place. But we must remain vigilant. The legends speak of restless spirits haunting these sands. Maria scoffed, her eyes fixed on the ancient parchment she held. Ghosts? Really, Amelia? I thought we were here for science, not ghost stories. Dr. White sighed, but there was a flicker of amusement in her eyes. Trust me, Maria, there's more to this place than meets the eye. The locals believe the spirits are bound by a curse, doomed to wander until their unfinished business is resolved. Mike chuckled, taking a swig from his canteen. Well, if we stumble upon any ghosts, I'll offer them a cold drink. That should cheer M up, right? The team laughed, their tension easing temporarily. But the unease persisted beneath their mirth. As the night wore on, a biting wind blew through the camp, sending a chill down their spines. Strange shadows danced among the dunes, threatening to extinguish the flickering flames. Maria shivered, wrapping her arms around herself. Okay, I admit it, she whispered, reluctant fear lacing her words. There's something. Off about this place. Dr. White sighed, rubbing her temples. I feel it too, Maria. The weight of the past pressing down upon us. But we must continue our mission. We can't let fear stand in the way of discovery. Just as she finished speaking, a distant wailing pierced the night, a mournful cry that chilled their blood. The team turned, their eyes wide with terror. M. Mike, what was that? Maria stammered, her voice trembling. Mike gulped, his voice barely above a whisper. Aye aye it might be the wind. Or maybe it's... Them. Professor Mitchell, usually stoic and composed, paled beneath his weathered skin. We need to leave. Now, he urged, his voice a desperate plea. But before they could react, the ground beneath them rumbled, sand shifting and swirling. A ghostly figure emerged, their transparent form shimmering in the moonlight. The air grew heavy with an otherworldly presence, the oppressive weight of sorrow filling every crevice. The spirit reached out toward Dr. White, its ethereal hand brushing against her cheek, leaving behind a frigid trail. It beckoned, wordlessly imploring her to follow. With a mix of determination and trepidation, Dr. White stepped forward, her heart pounding in her chest. The others watched in disbelief as she disappeared into the darkness, guided by the ghosts of the dark Sahara Desert. Chapter 2, Whispers in the Wind as Dr. White cautiously followed the ghostly figures, her team stood rooted to the spot, fear etched across their faces, uncertain of what lay ahead. Mike broke the silence, his voice trembling. What? What just happened? Maria's eyes darted around, searching for any sign of Dr. White. I don't know, but we can't just let her go alone. Professor Mitchell nodded grimly. You're right. We have to follow her and find out what's going on. The ground beneath their feet seemed to shift as they tentatively stepped forward into the darkness, shadows dancing around them. The haunting wails grew louder, echoing through the stillness of the desert night. As they cautiously progressed, Maria's voice quivered with anxiety. This place. It feels like we're walking through a nightmare. Mike gripped his flashlight tightly, its beam slicing through the darkness. I knew this expedition would be risky, but I never expected it to turn into a ghost hunt. Professor Mitchell, his expression determined, spoke with a hint of resignation in his tone. We knew the legends, the stories. Yet being confronted with the supernatural is a different matter altogether. With each step, the chilling wind whispered secrets from ages past, a cacophony of voices carried on the desert breeze. Maria shuddered, wrapping her arms tightly around herself. Do you think those spirits want to harm us? Professor Mitchell paused, 
his face etched with empathy. It's hard to say. Maria. They might be trapped souls seeking resolution. Or they could bear ill intentions. Our only hope is to locate Dr. White and find a way to navigate through this paranormal maze. As they ventured further into the depths of the desert, the air crackled with an unsettling energy, like a storm brewing on the horizon. Suddenly, a ghostly figure materialized before them, causing them to stumble backward in shock. Its ethereal voice resonated through the night, a mix of anguish and desperation. Help. Us. Maria's voice trembled as she whispered, What? What do they want? Professor Mitchell stepped forward, his voice steady. They're seeking release. Maria. We need to understand their plight, their unfinished business, and help them find peace. The haunting cries of the spirits intensified, urging them forward, leading them toward an ancient burial ground obscured by swirling sandstorms. Finally, they caught a glimpse of Dr. White, standing amidst a circle of spectral figures. Her eyes were filled with a mix of awe and sadness, her voice laden with empathy. These souls, they're trapped in an eternal limbo. Their suffering is unimaginable. Mike, his fear transforming into determination, spoke up. How do we set them free, Amelia? Doctor. White turned to face her team, her gaze filled with purpose. We need to unravel the mystery that binds them, uncover their stories, and grant them closure. Only then will they find peace. As the team delved deeper into the spirit's history, unearthing forgotten tombs and deciphering ancient hieroglyphics, they discovered the tales of lost loves, stolen treasures, and souls seeking redemption. Guided by their newfound knowledge, they performed rituals and acts of compassion, offering solace to the tormented spirits. Slowly, the air thinned, the whispers of the wind transformed into gentle sighs of gratitude. One by one, the ghostly figures dissipated into the night, leaving behind a sense of peace in their wake. As the final spirit vanished, a gentle breeze swept through the desert, carrying with it a profound silence. Dr. White, Maria, Mike, and Professor Mitchell stood together, their eyes meeting in shared relief. The curse that bound these souls had been broken, their journey completed. With a renewed sense of purpose, the team prepared to leave, their hearts filled with gratitude for the experience, knowing they had made a difference for those who once walked these sands. Little did they know, the desert held another mystery, waiting to be unveiled. Chapter 3. The Forgotten Tomb Days After Their Encounter With The Restless Spirits Dr. White, Mike, Maria, and Professor Mitchell found themselves deep within the Sahara drawn to another enigma concealed beneath the golden sands. Ancient legends hinted at a forgotten tomb, rumored to hold untold treasures and unimaginable power. As they navigated the treacherous terrain, a sense of anticipation mingled with their anxiety, the weight of their previous encounter still fresh in their minds. Professor Mitchell, his eyes filled with determination, led the way. Stay alert, everyone. We don't know what we might stumble upon beyond these dunes. Maria, her mind racing with theories, voiced her concerns. What if we unleash something even more dangerous than the spirits we met before? Doctor. White, her curiosity unfettered by fear, flashed a rueful smile. Then we'll handle it, Maria. We've overcome one supernatural challenge, so we shall face another with the same determination. Mike, ever the pragmatist, chimed in. Just don't forget to bring some sunscreen. These ancient tombs can lack proper ventilation. Their banter lightened the atmosphere, but their hearts still pulsed with trepidation as they neared the fabled burial ground. Finally, they came upon the entrance, a weathered stone archway decorated with intricate carvings depicting long-lost rituals and sacred ceremonies. It stood as a gateway to a forgotten world. The team cautiously stepped into the darkness, their flashlights cutting through the gloom. The air turned heavy, charged with a potent mix of decay and anticipation. Maria's voice, laced with awe, whispered, Imagine the secrets hidden within these walls. Centuries of history waiting to be unraveled. Professor Mitchell nodded, his scholarly demeanor resolute. Let's proceed with care. We must treat this discovery with the respect it deserves. As they ventured deeper, the presence of the ancient tomb grew more palpable. Carvings on the walls illustrated tales of forgotten empires and lost civilizations, fueling their imagination. Dr. White, her voice echoing in the hallowed chambers, mused, the civilizations that thrived here, their stories are etched into the very fabric of this place. We must decipher their language to unlock the knowledge they left behind. With each step, they uncovered more mysteries, hidden chambers filled with treasures long untouched by human hands, and intricate puzzles guarding untold riddles. Mike, his eyes gleaming with excitement, proclaimed, now this is what I signed up for, the thrill of exploration and discovery. 
Amid the jubilation, an ancient voice whispered through the corridors, a plea for remembrance. The team froze, their hearts pounding in their chests. Doctor. White, her voice a gentle reassurance, addressed the unseen presence. We hear your call, ancient one. We'll honor your memory and ensure your story lives on. Embracing their task, they dedicated themselves to unearth the fabled artifact that would grant the lost civilization the legacy they deserved. Days turned into weeks as they pieced together fragments of history, their findings shedding light on forgotten rulers and mythical events. The ancient tomb began to resonate with the energy of imminent revelation. Maria, her eyes shining with newfound admiration, called out, Look, I think we've found it. The artifact. As they beheld the magnificent relic, their hearts swelled with a mix of achievement and reverence. The final piece of the puzzle lay before them, a key to a forgotten world. Professor Mitchell, overcome with gratitude, whispered, We've brought their story back to life. Our diligence has rewarded not only us but the memory of those who came before. With utmost care, they prepared to leave, returning to the land of the living, their burden lightened and their spirits buoyed. As the sun set over the Sahara, casting its brilliant hues upon the dunes, the team walked away from the tomb, their hearts filled with stories yet untold. For the sands of the Sahara held countless secrets, waiting patiently for the next intrepid adventurers to embark on the journey to unravel their mysteries. And as long as there were those who dared to listen, the stories of the desert would continue to whisper on the winds, even after the footprints of Dr. White and her team faded away.